Uh, okay, uh, a very good evening to uh, the followers uh, in Zimbabwe, South Africa, and uh, all the Zimbabweans who are all over the world. We can say Zimbabweans, we can include, because uh, the legend and legend whom we are hosting today, he was loved, I'm sure, across board, um, not only by Zimbabwean soccer-loving people, but also from the football fraternity all over the world. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Uh, me, I'm fine. Um, it's it's uh, my greatest honor to host you uh, on this show. It's my first time to host someone of your capacity. So allow me to thank yourself and to thank God for such an honor having you here, sir. Likewise, likewise, man. Thank you so much. Thanks uh, for being <clears throat> for being here in the studio. Okay, sir. So, um, to start with, um, you were involved into our soccer. Uh, you played for Highlanders yourself. Yes. You also, you were also part of our national team. Uh, there are some young kids right now, soccer loving uh, people. They are young, they heard of your name, they read in newspapers about yourself. Um, to start with, maybe you can just briefly tell us who is Alexander Kurula Maseko and uh, maybe when did you start playing soccer in Zimbabwe? You can say that in brief so that everyone can benefit. Okay. <clears throat> uh, my growing up name is uh, Mwenye, uh, which is spelled like M-W-E-N-Y-E. -E. That's most of the people who used to know me when I was growing up as Mwenye. Then Alexander, obviously, it's my father's name, who, who gave me, uh, and uh, I was born in Duveve. Um, I consider myself as a, a humble guy, yeah, a family guy. Uh, more responsible guy and uh, respect any human being. That's Alex. Myself. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. So, if I might ask you, um, the year which you started maybe involved into professional soccer, I understand you were involved uh, with the winning team of Highlanders. I will pose that question. I'm sure in the next few minutes. Maybe if you can uh, tell those who are viewing us right now, when did you start involved into professional soccer? Um, I don't need to call it professional soccer for now. <clears throat> when when I started, yes. because it was semi-professional. Yes. So um, I I started playing uh, football. Uh, when I just finished my levels, when I, when things were were not good those days, whereby you used you know I mean you need, you, you used to uh, take care of your family. Uh, my brothers is, he had already moved out of my our house, so I was the only son who was taking care of my mom and my 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 sibling. That's the bone. So from there on, was I didn't I didn't proceed my my education. After the levels, I decided to look for a job. So by looking for a job, obviously, there was a gentleman uh, by the name Kandanga. So Kandanga, I know people might misspell that, <laughs> mis <laughs> misconstrued that name, mm -hmm. yes. but that was his real name, Kandanga, who yes. worked at uh, a company called DRG Vikings. So yes. Viking was a paper industry which was competing with Unyani, <clears throat> Unyani paper those days. So he's the one who offered me a job as a, a dispatch clerk. Um, um, then, I, then I started playing football for the, for the uh, company's club. <clears throat> so 
as I was playing football for that company, the DRG Vikings, I was scouted by Bobby Clark. I remember most of you people remember Bobby Clark when he used to to, uh, to coach Highlanders. And by then, Highlanders that year, I think it was early 80s, uh, they were almost relegated. You know, they survived a little bit, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> uh, that meant, um, listen, I put my head, my head out of my cap. As you can see, um, uh, when he scouted me, previously before he scouted me, I had gone, some friends of mine had, it lured me to come and train for uh, with Islanders during the preseason. So when I went there, we were offloaded because they didn't want us to. I mean, they said that they've already got the the cream which they wanted. And I remember it was my 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 my, my brother who loved. Uh, so then I went back and I waited for that company. Then that's that's the year when uh, Bobby Clark was coaching Islanders. So he discovered me. Kandanga himself came to me, approached me, and said, "Yes." Islanders wants you. You know, when we were kids, when we were growing up during those days, we used to say, no, I don't want it. I went there, these guys chased me. I don't want to go there. So, I said, there is an opportunity for you. So, um, well, I, 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 I thought, no, let's, let's see what is going to happen. And then, um, those guys, they, they negotiated and they bought me for $500. And you know, remember those days, $500 was, was a lot of money. Yes. And uh, well, I got a 10% out of 500, which was about $50. Still, it was a lot of money. <clears throat> so that's how I started joining Highlanders. Okay. That's great. Uh, great history um, to remember. I wanted to ask you something. In 1986, you were part of uh, the Highlanders team, which won everything. Uh, I'm sure except the championship. You won everything, if I might remember very well. What was the secret behind, what was the secret behind, I mean, the team, you guys grabbing all the trophies which were available in that particular year? Um, the, the motivation there, my brother, it was, um, uh, I can say that we were, we were close to each other. We were like, uh, it was brotherhood. With other players, and uh, obvious testing a, 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 a win or playing a cup final and winning, and uh, you know at the test one you want more, you understand. So that also motivated us, and uh, also we were committed to uh, to playing football itself. Uh, we we played not to make money, but uh, just for the fun of it. I mean, it was more when we were getting money, to, to us it was just a bonus. So, but it was for the love of the sport. So the motivation there was we were, we were close to each other and we loved the game. So we wanted to show people that they we can play better than anyone else. And uh, your nickname, sir, um, we, we grew up, by the time you were making uh, a household name, we were very young, we failed to then add the pieces to then know where this nickname came from, the cool ruler. Uh, what had happened for you to then be given such a such as a victorious nickname? Okay, when I started playing football, when I joined the Islanders, <clears throat> I used to play middle field. So I used to play um, either defensive mid or number ten, left wing, left left center. So um, by then, uh, one of our uh, the defenders, Utaka uh, Sumloi, got injured. And then um, Cosmas Zulu and Berry Taga, they opted that because I'm tall. Why can't we try Alex at the back? <clears throat> so they tried me at the back. So I mean, I, I just fitted just like that. So the name Kurula came. Usually when we're playing games, it came from the supporters. When we're playing games, the support, I, I used to dribble supporters, I mean, uh, strikers. <clears throat> so if I dribble strikers in the way, I mean, it was so cool. So people used to enjoy that. So that's where the name was given to me by supporters. They say, ah, oh, look, <laughs> the way this guy is playing is the cool ruler. So it's so cool. So that's how cool ruler came about. 
1990, um, with Highlanders, still with Highlanders, uh, you won your, um, your, your trophy, your first trophy after independence, the championship trophy. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the, uh, the way I was reading, I'm sure it took almost a week and more, more than a week. People were celebrating in Bulawayo and other parts of uh, the country the whole week. Uh, tell us something. Uh, what was the feeling after winning in 1990? You know what? Uh, as I said, that football was just like a game which we loved. It was normal to us. Yes. You understand? And we never, yeah, it's, I, I don't know whether it was my attitude towards people or it was other, other people's, other others towards other uh, attitude towards other people. I don't know. Other players towards other people's attitude. But my attitude, uh, <clears throat> a game to me was just a game. It was normal. People celebrated. The reason why, because uh, well, I, I, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Um, so I was that kind of a person whereby if people want to go and enjoy, they could go and they could leave. So it, it was normal on my side. Um, but seeing the other players, I mean, they were so aesthetic. They were happy uh, because they could go out. They could enjoy. They would, I mean, they would be invited by supporters to go and have fun and have drink things like that. So to me, it was normal. The Congo game... In 1991, yes. I'm sure in the national team, uh, you were in the national team, you drew 2-2. Two -two. And uh, if I'm not mistaken there, um, there was uh, Swanda. I'm forgetting the first name. John, I'm John sure Swanda. John Swanda, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. He slightly, if you are reading, you, 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 you learned that uh, he made a slight blunder you were almost closer to qualify to the first appearance in 1992 AFCON. Uh, can you say something there on that 2-2 two -two draw with Congo? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know when you, 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 you get devastated, you know, with a, a, a mistake of which uh, to me at that moment, we were all angry at John, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> you know, football is a game of mistakes. Yes. So, yeah, we, hey, we, we were so angry until a certain time when we still, when the game was finished, we ended up hugging John and saying, listen, it's part of the game, tough luck. We, we, we understand. So it, it was so sad that it was, one, it was our qualifier to the uh, AFCON. And unfortunately, we didn't qualify because of that mistake. So, uh, yeah, listen, have... we, 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 we cried, it's, it, but football is a game of mistakes. So, but yes. unfortunately, yeah. And unfortunately, we, yeah, unfortunately, we can't blame him. We understand. At the end of the day, yes, we blame him, but we can't blame him. But <laughs> great, uh, great. Um, you were one of the first uh, Zimbabwean player to go and play in South Africa yes. in the early 90s, if I'm not mistaken, which represent that by then you were special to be scouted and uh, managed to go and uh, uh, I'm sure you went to Sundowns, if I'm not mistaken. Can yeah, you share, yeah. can you share with the followers, your supporters, the soccer loving uh, fans, how was the feeling for the first time, being part of uh, those few Zimbabweans who were scouted, and then you went to be involved into playing in South Africa. Uh, at first, you know, people used to talk about South Africa, and South Africa was so bad. <clears throat> um, uh, no one wanted to come to SA, but you know, due to the fact that um, I, I, I had a job in Harare and uh, obviously playing for Highlanders, I used to train with uh, um, um, Rhinos, Caps United at first, and then I trained with Rhinos. So when I trained with Rhinos, the, the team will, 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 will come to Harare, pick me up, and go and play games. So what happened is during that time, 
uh, obvious our coach was uh, Roy Pareto Perry was also there as an assistant, you know, um, with Cosmas Zulu. So when the when the team when the when they picked me up, the game which actually uh, made me just to move to SA, it was the game when we were going to to play Tanganda, okay. right? Um, when they, they picked me up in Arare, then we went to Tanganda. When we when the team team was now mentioned, I was on the bench, and then they put Willard as a a central defender on that game. Okay. Uh, you know what? I was seated on the bench and I saw our team losing and uh, I never played the game. So I don't know um, why why it was done like that, but unfortunately, because I wasn't training with the club, uh, maybe they, they wanted a confirmation that I was training with Caps or, uh, or, or Rhinos. So <clears throat> during that time, I was approached by um, um, a South African guy by the name of uh, um, Robert Kumete. I think more, a lot of people know Robert Kumete. He's one of the uh, uh, businessmen in South Africa here. Yeah. But then he was working for, for, for NetBank. <clears throat> so he approached me, he said, listen, would you want, would you want to take a chance in, 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 in SA? Um, <laughs> I want to take a chance in SA. Uh, I thought twice, you understand, that, listen, now I'm not playing with the, uh, with the Islanders at the moment. I mean, for Islanders at the moment. I am there. I'm registered, but I they are not giving me game time. So I decided, no, let me take a chance. <clears throat> so by taking a chance, I came to SA. Um, uh, you know what? It, it was, it was a, a dream come true for me to start playing this side again. You understand? Because they, the guys were... They, I mean, they, they welcomed me with all their open hands and open hearts. Uh, I, I became like I was at home because they, we could speak the same language. So there was no difference. So, so that's, that's, uh, mm. okay, sorry to interject you. But uh, by then, uh, the level of uh, competition, the competitiveness of the game, comparing Zimbabwe, where you were coming from, uh, from Highlanders or the league from Zimbabwe and uh, comparing it with uh, then the league of South Africa when you were now under sundowns. Uh, the, which, which, uh, which, which country, which league between these two then, which you could say, were there some differences? Um, the, 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 the football was more different because um, one, the only bad thing about about what happened during that time it was um, if you look at South Africa, they joined uh, the world after 1994. We understand. So they were not even recognized previously. So by moving to SA during that time, it cost me my, my place again with the dream team uh, because nobody believed that in South Africa football was better, was okay, was better than Zimbabwean football. You see, that's the other reason why even Fabish ended up saying no. Uh, South Africa, there's no good talk in SA. So that's why he never picked up players who were playing this side to go come and join the national team. Great, great. Uh, I, I, I just want to pose this question, sir. Um, yes. Apologies, maybe it might, uh, it, it is something which might not have come to your mind. I'm sure sometime a few years back, uh, you might have um, joined the race for the Zifa presidents. But uh, at the last minute, I'm sure you, 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 you withdrew and uh, you cancelled the, the hope. And I'm sure maybe your followers, the fans, wanted you. Maybe if you can yeah. shed light there, <clears throat> what might have happened. And uh, we also have the elections which are just coming, I'm sure in two years' time or something like that. Mm -hmm. Are you also going to? So I've got two questions here. You ended the race, you pulled. We have got uh, the election, the CIFA elections, which are just nearby. I was checking with a lot of followers, and then they were yes. saying they want you to join the race. They will support you, though we don't vote. Any comments on those two you withdrew? We have got uh, two years to come. Uh, I mean, can you shed more lights on that, sir? 
Right. Um, on the withdrawal side, well, I think it's high time I must tell people exactly what happened. <clears throat> on the withdrawal side, I to um, do a little bit of research during that time. At that moment, because it was just a few days to go, uh, the questions which I asked is that the, the person who I'm not going to disclose, um, he explained to me that, listen, unfortunately, if you want to go in here, the race is already taken. There is already a chairman. So if you are going to pay that money, you're just going to be donating. So now, the excuse which I gave people when I would do, because it was it was uh, my my decision, okay? The excuse uh, which I gave was that um, the police clearance took long to come out. Okay. That was the reason why I withdrew. But the fact that listen, I'm now saying the truth and then I let the truth come out, uh, somebody already told me that listen, the elections are already done. This is just a formality. So the moment you, you put in your money, unfortunately, uh, you are just you are just donating. So I decided to, to pull out. Great. Uh, personally, I respect uh, the analysis which the actual person, uh, because you are the one. Because a lot of us we didn't know the inside. Um, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. But uh, after this qualification, I'm sure some some people must understand. Uh, so. Um, are we going to wait for the right time? This um, next elections, uh, what's happening, sir? This in time will tell. Eh? Okay. Time will tell. It depends exactly what people want. It's not me, uh, but if I feel that this is what people want, then we can sit and 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 and, and discuss about it, and we'll take it from there. So, say after you hang your 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 shooters. Uh, I'm not so sure which year. Um, <laughs> now you're saying shooters, shooters for real. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about yeah. mm -hmm. um, any involvement into soccer activities um, from the time you resigned soccer activities, you as a player, any administrative or consulting activities from there up until now? Okay, um, when, when I stopped playing football, by then you remember um, when Mandela was released from prison, mm -hmm. it was about uh, uh, 1994, then in 1995-96, he said all those who have stayed for, fi for five years and above, they can apply for exemption. So what I did is uh, I was still, I still had stint with, with Sundowns. I decided to, to, to do my, my uh, 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 submissions of, of, of documentation using Sundowns Obvious. Um, whatever document was needed by uh, Home Affairs, I could go in the, in the quest from the office. Uh, they would print and they would give me, they would sign, they didn't even uh, give me any problems on that. So that's, that's, uh, that's how I'm, I, I managed to get the citizen, uh, the SA citizen during that time. So when I got the citizen, I went straight to the office of Sundowns and said, listen, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I think it's high time I must look after my family now. <clears throat> you know? So that's how I stopped playing football. So when I stopped, um, I worked for Vodacom. I got a job at uh, Vodacom. I didn't even care um, what, what, how much I was going to be paid because, listen, I was okay. Um, uh, I will also disclose how much I, they gave me during that time. They, they, I was being paid about one one thousand five hundred per week, which was still a lot of money because you know what, uh, fuel was about two cents a liter by that time, so it was still a lot of money on a weekly basis. So I decided, no, let me concentrate in what, in taking care of my kids, take them to school, um, and then from there on, what to, uh, well, life life went on. But as I was running the Vodacom shops, people used to come and see me and they could ask me questions that, listen, what are you giving back since you were a player and you know what, we know you as a very good player. And that's when, you know what, 
uh, it came to my mind that you know what let me sit down and find and, and see with my family look for a company which is a sports management which um we registered 20 2013 uh it's about seven years old now but what i used to do is i was maintaining the company making sure that it's, it's, it's up to date but i didn't use it i didn't do anything until um a, a two years two years ago where by now somebody approached me and said, listen, can we work together and, and start managing these players? And because we have seen that the players are going astray, let's manage the players. Let's not be agents. Let's be managers instead. So. Great, uh, which is yeah. great stuff. Uh, say, I'm sure we are almost winding up. I'm sure in the next two or three minutes, we'll then check if there are questions coming from uh, the followers, the viewers. I want to uh, check something. You can help us here. We know that time will come and you might then take the president of uh, Zifa. Not now, oh, not you, next so election. You, you, want, you want me to take the president of the Zifa? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. I, I will support you. It's, it's just the unfortunate thing is that uh, uh, the fans, the supporters, we are not able to vote, but uh, maybe... We can just uh, push you, give you the encouragement or the support. I have a question with uh, which I want to ask you, sir. As, as, a, as a word of advice right now, yes. with the way uh, things are happening in our country, we just want you to give a general um, advice. Uh, don't limit yourself. You are not interfering with them, but I'm sure what uh, what can be done for our soccer in Zimbabwe? We might not be near uh, the level of South Africa due to other issues, but what do you think yourself can be done maybe as of now? Before, I have wished you all the best, I'm sure, but as of now, what can be done? Um, there's, there's only one thing that can happen first before the rest follows. Uh, listen, if, if you are a Zimbabwean, you are a Zimbabwean, despite uh, color, tribe, creep, you understand? So if we as Zimbabweans hold our hands together, let's forget about this Shona person. Let's forget about this Ndebele person. Let's forget about whatever past whatever you can. Let's move on. Let's be together to build this world. That's the main thing. First. Without that, there's nothing much I can say because if we are putting strings and someone says, listen, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a Shona, I hate this Ndebele person, or I'm a Ndebele, I hate this Shona person, unfortunately, there's nothing much which I can say unless or until this stops. Then the yeah. is going to go forward. That's great. I, I'm sure with uh, the advantage of uh, technology and the generation we are now having with the advantage of uh, you, the elders, guiding us, I'm sure somewhere, somehow, uh, we, we, we are moving towards that um, wish, that level which you're talking about, whereby we just unite for the good of our soccer, for the good of our nation. I, I wanted you also to say something um, as an advice yes. to our current footballers who might yet to be at your level. What can you advise them? Some of them, they are still young. They need your advice. They need your words. They need your input. What can you say to them? Um, all I can say to them is that um, Rome was not built in a day. <clears throat> you know, when you want to prosper in life, you need people and you start somewhere. You can't uh, in life um, become a millionaire when you haven't worked for it. You understand? You start slowly. There's baby steps. Uh, we all did that. You know what? I mean, we were living in our families. And you know we could um, 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 eat anything, especially you no know, vegetables only without meat, and they could still survive as long as there's something you know in the stomach you could survive. 
So the young ones at the moment, uh, since we know that now football has been com- is now commercialized, it's like a business, but they have to understand that, listen, for them to be up there is to, sh- to showcase their skill. So if you are not showcasing your skill, unfortunately, you're not going to go anywhere. Don't demand the first time and say, listen, um, I want so much. You know, how much are they paying? Yet you are not even getting anything. You understand? So uh, you work from, 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 from the bottom, bit by bit, until you become rich. So my advice for them is that, listen, they must, they must relax. They must take uh, baby steps, uh, one step at a time. Then they will reach with their, their, their goals. The fact that, you know what, at the end of the day, I mean, I, um, if I tell you there's an example for some, someone who asked me, he wanted to come in here and play for another team in SA, and uh, he, he's not doing anything, he doesn't have anything. The next thing he says to me, okay, uh, how much are they paying? You know, how much are they paying? I mean, really, then I said to myself, uh, listen, you're talking about money yet you don't even have anything. What if I say that they give you 7,000 rands? What are you going to do? Are you going to say no? That was an example. Understand? So to me, listen, you work hard. Even anyone who comes in to work, even sweepers who come in to, 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 to sweep in a company, they sweep, they sweep. At the end of the day, guess what? They start becoming, they start answering uh, calls. They become uh, receptionists. Now, the next thing they are in, I mean, the next thing, because you know, you, you build, <clears throat> you build as you, go, as, you, as you go along. So my advice to the guys, listen, they, they must, they must be, you know, pole pole. They must be cool. We understand. Yeah, take one step at a time. Yeah. Mm. I'm I'm sure uh, I might uh, have skipped something which uh, the Boso fans, the Highlanders supporters, yes, 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 yes. Uh, might want to listen here. Uh, I, I was fortunate enough to stay in Bulawayo and uh, each time uh, BF uh, was having a soccer match, I used to attend all the soccer matches, my time in Bulawayo. Uh, say, are you able to give us uh, the first eleven by your time when you were, uh, when, when we're involved uh, 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 with Highlanders as a player? Are you still remembering the best uh, first eleven? If I say best, maybe I'm limiting scope. Can you just give us the first eleven? You can add five additional, but um, I was preferring the first eleven. Yes. Um, that, that's a tough question because you know what I played with a lot of guys and all of them were so good. I will try by all means to be as quick as possible. There's a lot of players who I played with and uh, okay. Uh, okay. we met we met during my during my playing times. Okay. Uh, let me see whether I can be quick. Okay, there's uh, uh, Opita Nkomo, uh, Mercedes Sibanda, Nesai Moyo, Tumisani Nyoni, Willard Kumalo, Abraham Madondo. Manuel Nube, Titus Majola, Simon Nube, eh, Cleopas Lodo, Richard Ndovu, Mobi Zita Mainzanese, David Piri, uh, Douglas Mloy, Abraham Madondo, Tobias Mujirambanji, Adam Ndovu, Adinda Ndovu, Peter Ndovu, Raman Gumbo, Tani Banda, Togo Story, Sidney Zimunya, Boy Ndovu, Lawrence Ndovu, Amin Soma, Queen is over, Pumele Rodoa, Ronnie Joa, mm, Tutani Moyo, Mackay Nyati, Sam Sibanda, Smart Moyo, Joseph Tembo, Morgan Piri, Love Mochafunya, Panel Makop, Lazarus Mampopo, and Roshu, to name a few. <laughs> That's great. Uh, it has been an hour's um, uh, time having you here. Uh, I thought that you see uh, one thing which I am just going to ask God to do is yes. to multiply your blessings because um, I was afraid uh, before this interview. I called um, my family to say I will be interviewing one of the greatest uh, legends to have played for Zimbabwe and for Highlanders. Mm. Mm. Just try to have prayers for me because I do not wow. make any mistake. And you ah, see, I mean, you do. <laughs> when, 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 when I conducted you, uh, you, you were so humble and uh, there were other challenges. 
from day one up until to the show, I, I, I learned a lot. Um, if God allows me to reach your edge, I'm sure I must just follow, I mean, your humbleness. I, I just want to thank God to manage to interview someone of your, of your level, of your capacity. There were certain people who wanted to join, I'm sure my brother Philip and I had to send him a link. Unfortunately, I'm sure he might have failed to uh, then uh, click that link. Some of them were wishing you all the best. Some of them, they want you to come for president of CIFA. Uh, I'm sure you, you mentioned the issue of time to say when the time is right, you will be ready. And um, everyone, I'm sure, this is the first um, show whereby I can, I, 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 I had all those followers who were uh, following this uh, interview. Your last words, sir, I know that uh, it's winter, you want to go back and uh, have your warmth. Your last words to soccer loving followers, all the people who are watching you right now, your last words before you say goodbye. Okay. Uh... You know, uh, to all the supporters out there, um, Alexander Masego won't be the core ruler without you. So the reason why I respect you guys is, uh, is you made me. You made me to be the, uh, the person who I am right now. So without you, unfortunately, I'm, I'm nothing. I'm with my family. But I'm so, I'm so, I'm so happy that, uh, uh, listen, I'm... Um, you have, you have actually made me who I am. Uh, sometimes it makes me feel like crying yeah, to see everybody, you know, voting for me, wanting me to be this, you know, uh, to be this, especially the Zipa president, uh, of which I'm going to think, really think hard about it. Uh, so thank you so much, everyone. We, we are going to give Philip Swand, uh, my brother, ah, hey, we are going yes, to give yes. him, uh, <laughs> my brother Philip Swand, we are giving you one minute, one minute <laughs> to bother our legend because we were having him, it's almost uh, closer to 40 minutes. One question, one minute, and uh, you will answer. Please, one question. Yeah, but that don't, one is my son. Yes, we are sure. I thought our family had in the surprise. I think we are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We're meeting at this lockdown, my friend. Uh, shame. Hey, sorry. Zanda, I yes. just wanted you to, uh, I know the, the host, we wanted to know about um, your best friend, uh, uh, Henry Beefy Charles. What happened at uh, oh. that stadium? You and Henry Beefy. These youngsters, like, two, they don't know what happened. That's my question. It's my right to know what happened between you and Henry Beefy Charles. Ah, uh, my, my friend, that, that's, that's an old story, my friend. <laughs> I didn't want to get, get it. You want to know. No. You know, you know, every time we, we, when Dynamos and Islanders play, there's always you know, any rivalry, you know. that. Yeah. So, but uh, beef player, he was, you know, he was very tough. And I mean, I was, I was, I was, I was I <laughs> so me. So uh, with me, I was like a, a, a technical, technical guy. You understand? But hey, hey, do that So hey, that guy during those days, so he, 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 you know, he played with his heart in his ear. You know, whereby if he was so hard and he was, he was wildly rough, white, white car, and then I'll cover out, and he promises you to, 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 then I'll fuck you up. You know, sorry to say this in, in the studio. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> you know, now I'm talking football stories. Uh, yeah, so guys, but after that, after all that incident of if I have a fighting and whatever, um, we, we just after the match, we become friends. So, no, 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 you, you, you got a free kick, you got a free kick. What happened? What uh, please can you can you re refer refurbish? <laughs> Refurbish me. Do it. Do it. This guy is this brother of mine. Yeah, this yeah. Brother um, of me. My, my brother, uh, my brother Philip, I, I will be removing. 
we want our we want our legend to go and rest. Um, no, sure. no, me, I don't rest. I don't you rest. Do I, 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 yeah, I sleep even at three a.m. these days. So yeah, but uh, mm. uh, I, I, I want you to come back one day again. Oh, so yes, I do yes, want, I don't no problem. Thank you much. You are a family man. I'm sure your family was also following you. We yes. give credit to your family for keeping you safe and healthy. We wish you more years to live, sir. We want you to be part of our soccer administration. Your parting words, I'm sure you had said something. Uh, anything to say to add? Yeah, no, nothing much to add. Uh, I'll just say, guys, uh, let's hold our hands together. As I said earlier on, let's forget about this tribalism thing. Let's make sure that our country comes, comes right again. It has been a pleasure, say, having you um, on this show. May the good Lord bless you until we call you again. Uh, you. When the time is right for you, you know what all the people, all the soccer fans want. So we'll call you again. I'm sure by then it will be right time for you to take the administration of our soccer. May the good Lord bless you and have a good night, sir. Thank you so much. Good night to everybody. Thank you.